Back in the Hack Shack, prepping to teach a class at a makerspace. Welcome to Hacko Week. Well, as some of you know, I live in North Carolina in Moore County. Uh, I live in Pinehurst. There's another town nearby Southern Pines and also Aberdeen. Aberdeen has a makerspace and it's called Moore Makers after the county, Moore County. They have asked me to put together some kind of a little class to teach at their next get together, which is coming up uh, next Saturday. And what I've decided on is a simple little transistor touch switch. All that's involved with it is a single NPN transistor, a 220 ohm resistor, a LED, and a battery pack. And then you just need a small breadboard to put it together on. Let me show you what I've put together for these kits for a class I'm gonna teach to be held at the local community college. This is a pretty simple circuit I've put together. It's just an NPN transistor that turns on an LED when you touch the base and the voltage source at the same time. Let me show you what I've got set up here. This is the original uh, little prototype I did on a breadboard, a full-size breadboard, and uh, there's just an NPN transistor, a 220 ohm resistor to uh, lower the voltage that goes to the LED. Over here is a little battery pack, and uh, let me wet my fingers here, and if I touch those two copper leads together, can see the LED lights up and it'll light up to varying brightness depending on uh, the resistance of my skin. You can run this through your whole body too and it would light up. And all we're doing here is just applying a bit of current to the base which turns on the transistor. Essentially a transistor is a switch and it will conduct between the collector and the emitter when there's a current applied to the base. So to build this in a simpler way for everyone, I've uh, come up with this little prototype. This is just a little piece of the breadboard cut down five holes by five holes and we've connected up that same little battery pack to it and over here I've got a basic uh, little instructional layout that will go in the kit and this is all the parts right here. I've got a tiny little breadboard that I cut down. There's the resistor. There will be uh, four little bent pieces of copper wire in the kit and they will go in here for the contacts and also over here to help hold in the uh, battery leads because the battery leads come with a bit of solder on the end but not really reliable enough to stay in a breadboard so if we poke a little piece of wire in there along with it it'll help hold everything together and all of the stuff here um, all the goodies I got all came from Tata Electronics I love those guys because, as it says right there, dedicated exclusively to electronics hobbyists. I love them. And the stuff comes pretty quick and it's all very reasonable. I bought a couple of breadboards, all this stuff shipped for about 30 bucks. And this is enough to teach uh, a class and have, I think uh, I ended up, when I cut up these little pieces of uh, breadboard, I think I ended up with enough to do 30 and I expect maybe 20 in the class. So I started out with just one of these breadboards right here and uh, I peeled the back off and what I did was I got some of the uh, little metal strips out of the way in between and sliced it with a bandsaw and cut them down to this. So it's just a simple little piece of a breadboard. And what I'll do with these now is stick them to a piece of foam board to make it a little easier to handle and uh, then they can put all this stuff together. So what I need to do now is stick this to little pieces of foam board and then kit the whole thing up and put it in a little bag with the little uh, diagram of how to put it together. First I'll cut up this foam board into two inch by two inch squares. We'll take all these squares and mount the breadboard on there, the little tiny breadboard with some hot glue. Okay, now we gotta hot glue these little guys onto a piece of foam board. And I'm pretty sure that the hot glue is gonna be fine as far as any conductivity goes. But just to be really sure, because you know, you never know how that can affect 
a transistor circuit, little stray capacitance, stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is glue one of these together, and I'm going to go ahead and put one together just to make sure everything's okay. Then we'll go ahead and do all of them. I've got enough here to build up uh, 24 kits. So here's the breadboard. There's my little parts pile. And uh, the first thing we're going to connect up is the battery lead. I'm going to take one of these little U-shaped pieces that I've pre-bent and I'm going to straighten out part of it. And what I'm going to use that for is to help me connect up these leads that will go into the breadboard and they need a little help staying in there so I'm just going to push in this little piece of copper wire. I think I'll use some needle nose pliers to help out. I've been told that the uh, makerspace will have some extra pliers for everyone to use which is good. So any of you um, teachers out there that might want to do this as a classroom project you might want to bear that in mind that you'll need some little needle nose pliers maybe some diagonal cutters and um, that's about it for the tools it's it's a pretty straightforward little project and I've tried to keep it as simple as possible where you really don't need a whole lot of specialty tools or any soldering or a bunch of wire stripping or anything like that so now you can see I've got those two leads in there and they're being held in pretty good by those extra little pieces of copper and uh, then I can use that little guide I have to tell me where to put everything and as you can see right here it tells you where to put the uh, transistor down here is a little diagram showing you what the pins are on this particular transistor very important that you pay attention to that because you can fry the resistor if it goes in wrong so I'll bend the leads of these apart just a little bit and we'll put the transistor in where it goes. Next up we'll put the resistor in. We'll bend that like so. Oh, here comes one of the doggies to visit. Hi Fritz. He's going to come in and supervise operations here. Next up is the LED and I've done a little diagram here on the instructions telling you that the flat side as viewed from the bottom is the negative lead and the negative lead will go up here, positive there. Let's put that one in next. There we go. Now we'll put in these last two little jumpers, which will serve as the contacts that turn everything on and off. One of these will go right here on the base, and the other one will go over on the positive side of the voltage rail right there and you don't want to touch the positive directly to the base it'll just fry the transistor instantly uh, that won't work at all so let's see just uh, what we got here just on my skin it takes a little moisture sometimes to get a good connection but there you go you can see it's lighting up the view angle on these LEDs is a little bit minimal but there we go. That's it. Pretty simple. And it demonstrates how a transistor works. And then you can have some fun playing around with it. Let it go through your entire body. See how it lights up. Uh, these LEDs aren't really bright, but they do light up with 3 volts. And when this is off, um, it's hardly pulling any voltage at all. So you can leave it connected while you're playing around. And it shouldn't really drain the batteries right away. Of course, if you're going to store it somewhere, you just pull one of the batteries out of the battery pack and you're good to go. So now that we know that's going to work okay, I'll go ahead and finish up gluing all these pieces to my foam boards and then I'll start putting the kits together in little bags. So here we are ready to bag things up. Got bags here and as we go down the line, I've got the breadboards got the battery packs and the batteries. I'm going to load up the batteries into the battery pack and then just tape the lead for the positive. That way they don't short out. If they're in there rattling around in the bag, they could potentially short out, possibly damage one of the components. We don't want that to happen. So we'll just move down the line, assembly line style, and then we'll just put everything into the bag. So let's start out here with, uh, first of all, just the breadboard. We got a battery pack, 
it's all ready to use. We're gonna have to coil the wire up a little bit to get it to fit in here properly. We drop in one LED, one transistor, one resistor, and a piece of copper wire. And then we're gonna take the instruction set, we'll fold that up. Probably have to fold it twice, I guess. Put that in the bag. And that's it. Everything you need is right there in the bag, ready to put together. Well, now it's down to just putting everything in the bags and finishing up the kit. So I'll get Lisa to help me with that and we'll have this done in no time and be ready for the big day next Saturday at Sand Hills Community College with more makers and the single transistor touch switch. I sure hope I inspire some young people to get into electronics. I love when that happens. If you want more info on this, go to the Hack a Week project page for this video. I will post it right down there in the video description. And for you teachers out there that might want to teach this in your class, you'll find all the resources you need there. The parts list, where to order the parts, a little bit more about transistors and the project. Uh, there'll be some pictures there that you could download and use in your classroom. And of course, the little instruction sheet will be there in PDF form. So uh, I guess that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, So this is a pretty simple circuit and just in Vasirak circuit.